In this video, I'm going to be playing as Burkina Faso. I know it's a really random country, but this time my dad told me to play it. I'm also going to try and form African Union, since it's the only formable they have. I built one electronics, one motor and one steel factory. Burkina Faso's capital, Erm. How do I pronounce that? Wagadougou. Anyway, it's a square city, so I can build tanks on it, which will help out. I started invading AI countries around me in West Africa. Togo and Benin were first, so I can get easy access to the sea. Nigeria wasn't a player, which is good because I'm very weak compared to them. The one thing I have going for me is that most people who play in Africa are noobs who are starting out, because Africa is generally empty and Nigeria, South Africa and the Democratic Republic of Congo are by far the strongest countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. So if you're a noob, I highly suggest playing as one of those three countries to get a hold on how to play the game. Since Burkina Faso is a small country, it's going to take a while for me to build up. The game is a bit of a snowball effect. Small countries take small countries, make a slightly bigger army, slightly bigger economy, afford to take larger countries, which then helps them expand and develop faster, and the cycle repeats. Since it's a snowball effect, it's going to take a while before I'm strong and confident enough to do something more interesting than invading small AI countries in West Africa, so here's a time lapse. As you can see, Nigeria is suddenly a player. Luckily, they're definitely a noob and are starting out, because their factories aren't running, they're spamming infantry left right and center, and they couldn't figure out how to capture Cameroon. Nigeria, if you're watching, sorry. An attack was clearly imminent, as they had a lot of troops all neatly lined up. Since they were a noob, I suspected they were going to just throw all their troops at mine, so I made some tanks, 
trained them and put artillery behind them. I also made some attackers and an A with a battleship, because 270,000 troops is still a force to be reckoned with. By the way, always keep troops 150 kilometers away from enemy troops or borders, because any closer will reveal your numbers. Okay so, here's the plan. I predict they will rush my troops down here. My navy and attacker will destroy these 270,000 infantry here, while the artillery deals damage to the troops on their way to my tanks. Up here I have 200 of my most experienced tanks. Their aim is to quickly take Abuja. As they're a noob, they probably haven't taken care of their stability much. All those losses and a capital snipe will very quickly bring them to their knees. As suspected, they threw all their troops at my tanks. They dealt a decent hit, but they ultimately died. My navy and attackers ate those 270,000 troops for breakfast and I can now walk over them. In the meantime, those experienced tanks were on their way to Abuja. Unfortunately, they had another 1 million troops waiting for me, and they quickly retook Abuja. I started taking their factories in some important cities to lower their manpower. My attackers were over their 1 million troops stealing damage. Unfortunately, they knew about anti-air and made a few to get rid of my attackers. And that's basically it. They threw all their troops at me and now they have no army, so I can safely auto-capture. Cameroon also declared independence from them. In the meantime, I started justifying and taking other countries. North American Union is by far the strongest player in the game and they have Morocco, hopefully they'll give it later on. As you can see, I jumped really far after the Nigeria war. I promise you, nothing interesting happened, just me taking AI countries. The only notable thing that happened was a war between North American Union and Japan, I think, but it didn't really affect me so. Apart from NAU owning Morocco, the only challenge against me was South African Union. They left and I justified against them, but then they rejoined. I had 5,000 tanks ready, but they had no idea. They were asking for money from USA, but it was too late. They dissolved their entire army for some reason, so I was rolling over them. All my tanks were on auto capture. Instead of trying to defend, they literally made a million troops, and just hid them in his capital. So I'm just gonna force peace him. If you don't know how it works, it's easy. If you send a treaty to a country you're at war with, they can accept or decline. If it's AI, they will always decline. But if you send a treaty after you control more than 90% of a country's cities, they will always accept, whether it's AI or a player. The treaty can also include taking the entire country, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to take a few cities from South African Union until I control more than 90%. That way I can take his capital using force peace.
While I was invading South African Union, I didn't realize Ottoman Empire took some of North Africa. They were at war with France, so I rolled over them and sent them a treaty taking Libya and Egypt. I accidentally forgot a Libyan city. But France eventually won and gave it to me. Other than that, NAU was the only problem, but they ended up just giving me Morocco. Wow! This was a long video. If you made it to the end, I would really appreciate if you subscribed. We're really close to 5000. We're projected to reach it by the beginning of April, but I'm certain we can reach it by next week. Also, I would appreciate if you join my Discord. Other than that, thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time.